So today I will demonstrate how to find the Fibonacci and the use of Binet's formula. So let's define first the Fibonacci. The Fibonacci sequence is the is one of the most famous formula in the mathematics. Each number is the sum of two numbers that preceding it. So the sequence goes to one uh, zero that plus one. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, and 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, and so on and so forth. Kailangan lang natin, di ba, sab sabi dun is, ang, ang, sum na, uh, ang number na susunod is the sum of two numbers. So, kung yung nauna, i-add yun, at yun yung magiging, ano, magiging, like this, 1 plus 1 is equal to, tapos 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Ganun lang yun, hanggang sa makuha na yung pinaka, ano, kasi infinite naman yun. Tapos, let's move on to Binet's formula. So, Binet's formula is an explicit formula used to find the nth term of Fibonacci sequence. Binet's derived by the mathematician Jack Pelipi Marie Binet. So, dun yun, na, 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 dun galing yung, ano, Binet's formula. Kung sino yung nakadiscover nun na si Jack Pilipe, siya yung doon pinangalan. So, if Fn is the nth Fibonacci number, then Fm, Fn is equals to 1 over um, square root of 5. Tapos kung nakita nyo dito sa ating formula, um, close in the open parenthesis, 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 or divided by 2 um, raised to n, which is the uh, Fibonacci number na ihahanapin natin. So, minus, as uh, um, close, close parenthesis, minus 1 minus um, square root of 5 divided 2, then raised to uh, n, which is the, ano nga, na, yung hinahanap natin, ano, Fibonacci number. So, dito may isa tayong ano, ay may dalawa tayong uh, mahanaping Fibonacci number. So, ganito yon. So, F2 mag ano tayo. So, ganito yun. Um, eto copy lang natin. So, um, Kasi ito yung hinahanap natin. Is, papalitan natin yung n ng 2. Ng 2. So, ayun na siya. I-convert na natin yung um, n sa 2 kasi siya yung hinahanap. So, mag-upsid tayo sa pag-answer. So, ang una natin gagawin is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 raised to, ang answer nun is erase natin sa 2. So, meron tayong nakuhang 2.61. So, minus, um, kagaya ng ginawa natin dito, gagawin din natin sa kabila. So, pero dito minus na. 1 minus um, square root of 5 divided by 2. Right, uh, yung answer nun, raised to 2, or, ah, uh, is equals, may nakuha tayong 0 0.38. Um, tapos, ima-minus natin tong dalawa, which nakakuha tayo ng 2.23. Tapos, magkakross multiply tayo, magkalagay tayo dito ng 1. So, ito na lang yung natira. So, 22.20... Ay, 22. <laughs> 2.23 divided by square root of 5. So, ang F, uh, ang Fibonacci 2, meron siyang 0 0.99.
So, another example natin is find um, F or Fibonacci 5. So, using the, ano, ulit, the Vinitz formula. So, yan natin yung 5, so raise to 5, minus, um, plus, and open parenthesis, minus 1, minus square root of 5, divided by 2, raised to 5. So, ayan, start ulit tayo. Ayan ang ginawa natin kanina. So, I simply pay muna natin. A to plus or ano natin. So, 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Yung answer nun, i-raise natin sa 5. Then, nakakuha tayo ng 11.09. Same dito sa kapita. Um, 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. The answer raised to 5 is nakakuha tayo ng 0 0.09 so imaminus natin itong dalawa mm, 11.09 minus 0 0.09 is equals to 11 so kaya ano na kailangan natin mag cross multiply ulit Lagyan natin dito yung 1. Cancel the 1 kasi ano na. Then, 11 divided by the square root of 5 is equals 4.91. So, our Fibonacci 5 is equals to 4.91. That's all.